Alright everyone, welcome back to another video. And in this video we're going to be showing you how you can get a lot of the AP boosts. And very similar to the strength, magic, and defense boosts I showed in a previous video, AP boosts are also going to be gained from doing the data battles. Now just in case you don't actually know how to get to the data battles, I'm going to show you. First you're going to want to land in Hollow Bastion, and you're going to want to select Postern as your save point. From there you're going to want to immediately exit that room and then go down into this little area right here and this looks like a wall but it's a little bit transparent that's because you can walk right through it to get immediately to the garden of assemblage where you can fight the data battles. Now please note if you have never made it to the garden of assemblage before this wall will be completely blocked off. If that's the case, you're going to have to go through the Cavern of Remembrance. I'm not going to get into that in today's video, so let's just move on. Now when you go into the fight with Demix, you're also going to want to make sure every available item slot that you have is filled with an Aether. This is because you run out of magic a lot doing Demix this way, and it's just helpful to be able to replenish that. So as soon as we go into the Demix fight, we're immediately going to want to start using fire on all these water clones. Each of them have a timer, and if you don't get all the forms in that time, you lose. He's going to do a lot of these rounds and we can't actually hurt him during them, so just fire is the best way to go. For the first couple of rounds, you should be able to do it without going into any special forms. However, they do get pretty high at a certain point, and for this you are going to want to go into Wisdom form. And this is just going to help us to get the fire out quicker, in a wider range, and help with our movement. If your MP gets close to running out, use an Aether. You typically don't want to let it run out completely, because then the Aether does take a little bit longer to set in. And obviously that's not good here because all of these rounds are timed. Now once you do get past all of these rounds of his water clones, you are actually able to attack Demix. If you're still in wisdom form, it should be very easy to get him down to 1 HP quickly. However, he doesn't die yet. This is because he does a few more rounds before we can actually finish the battle. Just repeat the same steps from earlier and you should be good. You know the battle's almost over when Demix creates 99 water clones and you only have 30 seconds to defeat them. Don't panic. This seems very stressful at first, and trust me it is, but if you just remember to use wisdom form and keep using ethers when you almost run out of magic, you should be fine. It is still very difficult to pull off though, as you see here I got down to one clone and then ran out of time, had to restart the entire battle. Just keep pushing at it, and you should win eventually. And for the other battle that you can get an AP boost from, we're going to want to go into Luxor.
first to run out of time is the loser. Now as soon as you spawn in, he's going to do this begin game reaction command. And the goal here is to use the command menu and only press X on the one that has a circle in it. If he ever turns you into a dice or a card, there's not really much you can do, you just have to wait it out. And once you get up to Luxord, if you do one full ground combo and then a thunder, it should force him to go immediately back into a begin game reaction, and you can defeat him a lot quicker. Once you've almost taken his time bar all the way down, he'll go into a desperation move. The best way to avoid getting hit here, if you're worried about that, is to just fly up to this location and he shouldn't hit you very much. After he's done with all of that, he'll spawn all these cards in a circle around you, and it's basically just like the begin game command from earlier, except now you have to do a circle in every single slot on your action bar. But once you do hit all of those circles, he's free to hit and on 1 HP, just use 1 thunder and he's gone. So there you go guys, that's how you get the AP boost from the data battles in Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. If this video taught you anything or was useful at all, I would really appreciate if you dropped a like on it. This took a very long time to make. <laughs>